Okay, continuation of Capablanca versus Villegas, played at Buenos Aires 1914. I just left that an exciting move of the game where um, black had played c takes d4, and then white just played knight takes um, d7. Looks like, uh, you know, um, um, black can win the queen here, but if, but if d takes e3, then uh, white plays knight takes uh, f6 check and if uh, you take if black takes then it's going to be checkmate of uh, rook to g4 check king to h8 bishop takes f6 checkmate so black can't do that so black is forced to play king to h8 and then um, white plays rook to h4 threatening checkmate at h7 Black plays h6, rook takes the pawn check, the pawn takes the rook, and then um, knight to e8, a discovered check, king to h8, knight takes uh, c7, and, look, and basically if we look at the position, white has um, has two pieces for rook and is end up going to, it's going to win this uh, pawn right here shortly, just that maybe the continuation would be e2, rook to e1, rook on a to d8, and of course white can't take the pawn or white gets checkmated, but plays f3, and then now the king just comes over to here. So it's going to win that pawn, so white will have a mater material advantage. So black cannot play d takes e3, so instead now after the knight takes on d7, black takes, queen takes d7. And now the game continues, bishop takes d4, black exchanges, bishop takes d4, rook takes d4, threatening the queen, rook to c7, rook and f to d1. Now we see black controls a d-file, and also has a pawn majority on the queen side, so now its idea is to create a pass pawn in the promote. And hopefully, all the time uh, controlling the D file. We'll see if White can accomplish that. So, um, Black plays Rook on F to D8 to contest the uh, the, the uh, open file. White plays uh, uh, B4, getting the pawns rolling. Black exchanges. Queen retakes. Retaking with the Queen because it keeps um, control of the D file. B6, so uh, black one gets, wants to get the rook in the game, so it has to move one of these pawns, or a pawn will be, or the um, A7 pawn will be unprotected, so it plays B6. G3, uh, white plays a move uh, just to give the king an escape square. Black plays rook to C8, attacking the C pawn twice. White defends with uh, rook to C1. Black plays rook to d8, attacking the queen. The queen retreats to e3, where it defends the rook, um, prevents the rook from coming, the black rook from coming to d2, and also keeps an eye on this square here, where because white wants to get in this move. King to f8. The king's come, trying to come over to the queen side to help um, join or join the fight. C5, critical move, B takes C5, and then um, white doesn't recapture right away with uh, B takes C5 because in black can just play queen C6 blockading the pawn. So instead, white plays queen E4, so on the recapture, the black queen cannot come here without the uh, uh, cannot come to c6. So now black plays rook to d5, helping to support the uh, pawn and also sort of blocking the queen. But um, uh, black uh, captures the pawn. Now, of course, it looks like that black can just win the pawn, but if black plays 
rook to take c5, the queen comes to uh, b4, pinning the rook and going to win it. So black cannot recapture, so black plays uh, g6, because before actually this this pawn here had been uh, sort of an intake, so now it plays g6. And now white plays c6, pushing the pawn. Moving it forward. Also now it's not under attack or attack twice. King the g7. Uh, black realized that coming keep if it tries to bring its king to the center it may get checkmated or harassed with checks. Now white plays a4. And the idea is that now the uh, black rook cannot move to a4 because white's idea is to play uh, queen here, queen up, exchange. And if there was an exchange, you know, like uh, queen takes, whoops, takes all on this square, I think you get my idea that there's an exchange that this rook could always just come to um, b5 attacking the pawn, and now it can't. Black plays rook to d6, attacking the pawn twice, but now comes the end of the game. Queen to e5 check, not really to check, but uh, it's going to get rid of, uh, white's going to get rid of the rook here. So f6, queen takes d6, queen takes d6, c7, and that pawn's going to become a queen, or white's going to have to sacrifice, or black's going to have to sacrifice its queen, and then white will easily win. So that is the game between Capablanca and Villegas.